And so in a up to a half acre, you can keep two hives. And for every quarter acre after that, you can add another hive in South Jordan. Um, now, I don't know on their zoning, if, I think someone should look at their zoning. I'm zoned for bees across the street at Chosen Way right there. They're not. Go figure. Most people aren't going to even know if you have them. I'm not saying break the law, but there, there is a license that you need, a state license. It's 10 bucks a year for, I think it's up to 12 or 15 hives, something like that. So it's not going to break the bank. It's really just so that, and you write, you're supposed to write your license number on it and such. And it's really more for, I've got a bunch of bees, I've got them out in the field somewhere, and they're knocked over, someone knows there's something wrong, they need to know whose hives these are so they can come contact them. Um, and there were a couple of messages earlier in the summer on the, where people said, uh, I got a phone call from so-and-so looking to see whose hives they were. They weren't ours, they, we don't know who they are, so uh, you didn't write your name on them. Somebody lost their hives, I've got them now, and they're mine, because they were knocked over, we had to go collect the bees, and we didn't know who to contact, so you lose them. Uh, as I told you earlier, in the spring, most hives are going to swarm. A swarmed, swarming hive is a healthy hive, because that means they're in spring, they're building up for the spring, and there's extra room. So they'll make another queen, queen will mate, they'll come back, half the hive will go with the queen, and head out and find a new home. Yes? When they swarm, if you have an empty hive there, will they usually go to that, or will they just go somewhere else and you've got to go? They're going to usually go, they're going to leave their hive and go maybe 10 to 30, 40 feet away. They're not going to go very far from their hive. The queen's going to land, and they're all going to ball around that queen, while the um, explorer bees, or there's another name, I'm not thinking, Scouts. scout bees, go out and find a home. They'll find a home, and if it happens to be there's an empty hive nearby, they may pick your empty hive. But not, I mean, that, that's not, not necessarily. Not a likely. Right. I mean, that, there are people who, who, you know, beekeepers who do this for a living will put out during spring, they put out um, bee traps. They're basically small cardboard boxes of a certain type, and they'll put a little bit of old wax in there, a little bit of lemongrass oil and such in, which are pheromone the bees kind of like, and they'll find, they'll come a couple days later, and there's a set of bees, a bit of home, got inside and went, this looks pretty good, let's, let's stay here. So you can kind of get them to come to certain places. They may also go to your neighbor's bush. All you do is go over with a box, snip that little branch, shake them all into the hive. They are the most docile when they're swarming. So people get freaked out because there's lots of bees around. We had, we went to a class, my wife and I did, um, the top part of the section, it was in Colorado last, um, early in the summer. We went, and the, when we were there, they happened to have a, a hive that swarmed. And the guy who's teaching the class is like, everyone come on, let's get in the swarm. And you go and you stand there, there's bees flying everywhere, and the sound and such. They don't care about you, they are all about, I've got to get by the queen and deal with her because we're out in the, we're out in the wild and we don't want to be here. They don't really care about you. Matter of fact, once they're all swarmed up on here waiting for the scout bees to come back, you're able to put your hand up underneath and kind of hold it and such. They don't really care about you. None of us got stung. None of us even had veils or anything on it because we were in a class. We weren't prepared for it all. We just went out. And so the scout bees go out. They come back and say, I found a spot. They come back and they do a dance on the, the ball of the bees that basically is like, I found a good spot. It looks like this. It's got these places. You're going. You should all follow me to go to it. So I'll do that dance. And then, because I was a scout. It's not the same as the navigator. It's not. Completely different dance. There's a little more wiggle to it. So the other bee, another scout may come, and they'll do their dance going, no, 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 I know he, she found one, but I found another spot also. It's this, and eventually the hive as a whole will decide that's where we're going, and they follow the other scout, and they go and they find a new home. Yes? So why don't we just see beehives around, like that, where they found their own home, and they're not in a box? Because many times, if they find their own home, they're, it's not going to be someplace that's out, because they need protection from the resources. So they're going to be up in your rafters, in a little hole in the side of your a building. They're going to find them in the inside of a tree, the old Winnie the Pooh. There's a bee. They don't, most honeybees, I think there's some in Africa area or such, that actually build those hive things that you equate hanging from a tree limb. Those don't really happen. Yeah. So the more people mm -hmm. have backyard bees, the more 
wild, like not not kept bees. Not kept bees. Feral there bees. will be in neighborhoods. Not necessarily, because most they will the bees themselves. You know, they will go out and try and find a, a spot. They really don't understand that they're being kept. Mm -hmm. They just know that there's a place where they have home, mm -hmm. and so they'll need to go find a new home and. During, so if we have, if there were a lot of hives in this area during spring, you might see some swarms, and then they'll find someplace else to live, and you won't really notice them again. It's, my neighbor had a swarm a few mm -hmm. years ago, and she called the beekeepers association, and someone was very happy to come. They'll come and take this wonderful yeah. swarm of bees. Right, because a package of bees, like like I got a package of bees is about eighty five dollars mm -hmm. for a package. We'll show you what one looks like when we get there. Um, so that's why the eighty-five bucks. If I can get a whole swarm of bees for free, then I, as a beekeeper, if I'm doing this to to um, do a living, and I can double, triple, quadruple the amount of bees I have by simply building a few more boxes, so I've got my langs sitting around, and then I just find swarms, fill them up. I've doubled my production in a, in a year, tripled it, quadrupled it. One guy this year caught twelve swarms. Holy cow! And he's you know now he does this for a living, and he's got. 80, 90 hives that he has that he moves to different locations around the, the um, area. So think of your, your business. If you could double your business just by taking some free bees that are already being made, that's a way to have a business. I, you know, even with my, if mine swarm this next year, I'm probably not adding more bees. For one thing, I've already got two hives, I'm good. I, so I'm going to find someone who needs bees and say, they're swarming. You want them, come get them. First one here, you can have them. So I also, I could have done that this year. I could have waited for a swarm. My schedule and the way I travel, I wanted to know the day I was getting my bees and put them in, so I, I paid for and got packages of bees. Now, I got mine personally, I didn't write this down, um, nightfamilyhoney.com, Knight's Bees. Um, they, every year, go to California and pick up um, packages of bees. This year, they brought back two semis of bees for local Ooh. beekeepers. We went down to pick ours up, and there's lines of people. You order them beforehand, and your people are walking out with two, three, four packages of bees constantly. So a lot of people are keeping bees in the Utah area, and you may not even realize it. Just like, right. you were going to say something. Oh, yeah, in our neighborhood, Liddell's. Somebody's bees swarmed and went into their their exhaust fan, and there were bees there for four years, but they couldn't get anybody to take them, and I don't know why. Hmm. Normally, if you but they went right in through their exhaust from the fireplace, mm -hmm. and they stayed there. And they were there for four years. Yeah. Four years. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, there was a the on the the Facebook page. There were some pictures. The um, what university was Westminster. Westminster University. Had called, so we've got some bees that look like they're in the soffit of this building. So, but it was up 40 feet in the air is the soffit area. So they, and they could see the bees on the outside of the soffit of the like, I guess I'll call the soffit area. So they got a cherry picker from the school, and these two guys go up, and they're just gonna do it. So they got their little bee vacuum, so the vacuum lets them not hurt the bees, and they vacuumed up things, and they could see the comb. So they, since there was comb, they'd been there a couple weeks or so. And, they get going, and pretty soon they notice there's some more bees back here. Well, this soffit thing that went all the way down was filled all the way through it for about 13 feet of bees. All the way. They'd been there for a couple years, and no one knew because they had a little hole they were going in. And flying out, they hadn't noticed the one or two bees at a time coming back and forth until all of a sudden, they filled all of that with comb and honey and such, and now they were coming out, and now it was not a one-hour, let's go take some bees project, ended up being like six hours, they got cleat lights on at night, they're trying to clean this whole thing out, they took it all out, left it open for a couple days, and then sealed, sealed this thing off so that the bees wouldn't come back. But bees will go and find the little place that they're trying to stay home and, and keep them. So if you can give them a better place to live, all the better. So, yes. Dot com thing again. Um, Knight Family Honey. It's Knight K N I G H. K N I G H T. Oh, Family okay. Honey dot com. Okay. 